Hi, my name is Richard Brook. I'm a network marketing professional and a professional leader and coach. I've been a full-time network marketing leader since 1977. While working in a chicken factory for minimum wage, I was recruited into a network marketing opportunity. It took three weeks of looking before I traded the chicken plant for network marketing and three more years before I developed the skills to actually succeed at it. But by year six, I had 30,000 distributors in my sales group earning me $40,000 a month. I have always been a student of how our opportunity is seen by others, starting with how I saw it and how thousands of people I have shown it to have seen it. The four-year career was created after years of success and failure and thousands of people looking, questioning it, trying it, failing at it, and some succeeding. It was created as a way for people to actually see from the inside out how it really works and why it works done properly. The four-year career is kind of the engineer's approach to understanding it. My own initial experience of looking at MLM as a prospect was frustrating. I just didn't understand any of it. I went to opportunity meetings that showed a five who get five who get five model for three weeks before I got it. I think it took so long because they never really explained it. They just kept showing the numbers and the income. I kept saying to myself, I don't know that many people. I can't sell well enough. I don't even want to. I don't have the time to do all of this. And if everyone is recruiting, who's going to sell the product? None of that helped me understand the model. I was not stupid, but I was ignorant of such concepts as compounding or geometric progressions. The four-year career was also created as a realistic time frame in which someone can build a residual income with a substantial asset value. After 10 years in the industry full-time, I'd had enough of starting over, and I'd had enough hype about who had the fastest growing and soon to be biggest opportunity. I realized what we really had to offer was not income, but wealth by way of building residual income. And I realized it could not be built overnight, or even quickly by MLM standards. But given four to five years, with the right products and the right company, one could build a one to five million dollar asset, and that's light speed by any wealth building standard. Although the model I use is four years, and four who get four, one can use any realistic time frame in any number of duplication. Perhaps you will build your empire in a year or less. Maybe it'll take seven years. Maybe your compensation plan is a two who get two, or a seven who get seven. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you and your leaders understand the laws that make it work and make it valuable. What matters is that you teach it to everyone who will listen. There are four cornerstones to the four-year career. The first is the people. How many do you need? Where do they come from? What are they doing? The second is the products. What kind of products work? How do you sell them? Who else will I get to sell them? Third is the money. How do I get paid? Why do I get paid? Why will I continue to get paid? And the fourth is the asset value. How can it become an asset? What is residual income? How do I know that what I build will be residual? And how much is it worth? Here's the basic diagram of what the four-year career looks like. Keep in mind that no one anywhere on the planet has a network that looks just like this. You cannot control how many people someone else will recruit. This is just a model to show what's possible and why it's possible. You sponsor four. They each sponsor four for 16 at your second generation. They each sponsor four for 64 at your third generation. They each sponsor four for 256 at your fourth generation. And when they each sponsor four, you have 1,024 people at your fifth generation. The first cornerstone of the four-year career is the people. Where do I get all those people and how do I get them? This is overwhelming for people. They don't understand it or trust it. Why would they? Most prospects we talk to do not even understand how compounding really affects their financial lives. They don't understand how to use it to build wealth by saving and investing. Nor do they understand how being in non-appreciating debt literally cripples their ability to ever acquire wealth. They don't know compounding and they don't know geometric progression of recruiting sales reps. We were all raised in the peddling paradigm. If there's a product or service by which money can be made, what are we supposed to do? Right, sell it, and lots of it. 
The invention of multi-level marketing 50 years ago took the shackles off of direct selling by changing the rules. No longer did it have to be just the sales manager who could hire others. Now anyone could, even the newest new hire. No longer was anyone restricted to a territory. Now you could build anywhere, in any town, regardless of who else or how many other sales reps were there. This injected nitro into the mere selling of products. Now instead of a few people selling a lot of product, a lot of people could just sell some, whatever amount they wanted to. The sum total of a lot of people selling a little bit each far outpaced the few selling a lot. The focus naturally then moved away from just selling the products to also attracting lots of other people to sell as well. Let's say your target per the diagram is four that you would enroll yourself. In order to attract four, you may have to invite 40, 60, maybe 80 people. People choose to join your team based, yes, on the product and company you represent, but more so on you. Are you someone they would enjoy working with? Are you fun? Do you inspire confidence? Do they trust you? And most importantly, something you cannot control, is now the right time for them to look at doing something new? Do they have a compelling want or need? Are they open right now? Are they ready? Your role in building initially is just to invite as many as possible. Most companies have great tools you can use as the message. You're just the messenger. Think of your role like this. If each ace in a deck of cards represented the one person you were looking to be excited about joining you, then your role is to just see 50 or 60 people as cards in the deck. Show them your message and see who's an ace. They'll tell you. Keep going until you find four or more aces. The most important question to ask yourself and others looking to build is this. If you love the products, if you got all of your questions answered, and if you really, really wanted to, could you, with my help, find four people somewhere, anywhere to do this with you? Could you find four if you really wanted to? If the answer is yes, then what will be the result in short order? Absolutely, you'll have your four. So how do you get more? Simple. If you get your four to do this, and doing this is all about using and recommending the products and inviting other people to do the same, and if I were to ask them the same question, if they, one of your four, really wanted to, could they get four? What do you think they would say? Correct. They would say yes, and in short order, you would have 16. How do you get more? Ask the 16 the same question for 64 and so on. The key to understanding and believing in the growth of people in your team is the ability to phrase, present, answer, and act on that question. Thousands of sales reps on your team can come from each person believing in attracting their own four. This is an important place to be clear about what qualifies as doing it for someone joining your team. There are three basic things someone needs to do to build their own team. One is to use the products. Fortunately, it doesn't take any time, which leaves all of your time for the last two. Second is to recommend the products to others. That also does not take much time, which leaves most of your time for inviting others to take a look. If someone is using, recommending, and inviting, then we say they are doing it. The second cornerstone of the four-year career is the sales. Obviously, in order to get paid, something must be sold. And in order to get paid every month, something must be sold and purchased every month for as long as you want to get paid. This is your product or services sales revenue. Once you have the people in place, generating sales revenue is one of the easiest parts of the plan. When you have people on your team who love the product so much they're willing to sell it, sales revenues will naturally flow. One of the most common objections people voice when faced with sponsoring or recruiting emphasis that defines a network marketing model is, if everyone is recruiting, who will sell the product? The answer is obvious. Everyone will be selling the product. And the more people you have recruited, the more product will be sold. If you've taken the time to read or watch the Mailbox Money presentation, you may remember the difference between traditional direct sales and network marketing. For example, in traditional direct sales, if you wanted to sell a million dollars a month of product, you would hire 100 superstar sales reps, give them a territory, a company car, an expense account, and most importantly, a $10,000 a month quota. $10,000 a month quota times 100 superstar sales reps equals a million a month in sales. 
In network marketing, there aren't any territories, no company cars or expense accounts. So how much each sales rep sells is harder to control. Therefore, we don't limit how many sales reps you can have selling. The more, the better. For example, to market a product through the network marketing model, you might look to recruit 10,000 people and expect each to average $100 a month in total personal usage and sales. Both routes get you to a million a month in sales. Sales and network marketing happen several ways. First, sales are generated by the sales rep being their own best customer. Depending on the product lines offered by your particular company, a family, which may include pets, can easily use $50 to $150 a month in the products. And that doesn't include any of the product your retail customers buy. If each sales rep only had an average of one customer family, kind of like their own, their sales could double their own usage every month. Ten customers would increase their sales by five to ten times. So how do you sell the products? Every company and every product is different. Some people love to approach people and actually sell. Some people like to use the Internet to sell the products. And some people may even have an existing business or retail outlet through which they can sell product to existing customers. Regardless of the approach, if you just listen to people talk about their life, they will tell you about problems that your products or service could solve. You may even ask them if they have specific challenges, like finding a skincare or nutrition line they love and trust. When you hear about a problem, you just recommend a solution that has worked for you, one that has worked so well for you and others that you couldn't help but become a representative of the company. It's just like recommending a good movie or restaurant. You want to do it in an easy, natural way so it doesn't matter to you whether they buy or not. Your job is to just recommend and let people decide for themselves if they want to try it. Using this approach, you'll never have to spend any time selling the products, nor will you ever be rejected or feel like you're imposing on people. You could produce hundreds in sales every month. Hundreds in sales moving through hundreds of representatives who are doing the same equals tens of thousands in total sales. The third cornerstone of the four-year career is the commission structure or the money. Every company's compensation plan is different, but they all pay out an average of 35 to 45 percent of sales. In other words, if somebody orders $100 worth of product, 30 to 45 dollars of that sale is paid to generations of sales representatives above the sale. Five people may each receive about 8 percent, or seven people may receive about 6 percent. There are many different creative ways companies figure out how to pay you. Unilevel plans, breakaways, binaries, trinaries, matching bonuses, and quad power line interrelated weak side super bonuses. It varies, but you can expect to earn 5 to 10 on your total group sales. In other words, 5 to 10 percent on all the sales generated by all the reps on your team. The more sales you and your total group produce, the more income you will earn. The fourth cornerstone of the four year career is the residual nature and resulting asset value of your income. This is the most valuable and exciting part of the four-year career. Built right with the right products in the right company, you can expect your income to far outlast your personal efforts. This means you keep earning it regardless of whether you're still building it, managing it, or actively leading the sales force. Let's look first at what is the right way to build it so it will last virtually forever. The build it right principles. First is leadership. Your leadership and your ability to inspire others to become sales leaders will be the most important component of how long your income will last. Your leadership greatness will be judged by how you inspire others to grow personally, how you challenge them to overcome their fears and break through to extraordinary new lives. Your leadership will be judged on how many powerful relationships you build with others relationships that can withstand the many adversities that any business will encounter. Products is next. If they are fad products or technology products, they are not likely to be in demand 10 to 50 years from now. Fads are just that. Fads that will eventually lose their appeal. Technology products become outdated or commonplace within three to five years of being invented. The most important criteria for the products you sell is do you love them? Can you recommend them authentically? And would you use them as a customer even if you weren't a distributor? Third is the company you keep. If you want to be paid your residual income forever, you'll want to build in a company that honors the MLM way of life and wealth building as its core values. A company whose owners have demonstrated, not promised, 
but proven to be committed to a very long-term business plan where the residual income and wealth building of sales leaders is the most important objective. Now let me show and tell you why and how when you build it right. It not only should be pure, rock-solid, residual, forever income your grandkids can rely on, but it could and should actually continue to grow at an extraordinary rate. To see this, we need to revisit the diagram of you sponsoring four, who each sponsor four for 16, who each sponsor four for 64, who each sponsor four for 256. Here we show four generations of your actively building sales leaders, each who are using and recommending the products and sponsoring others. The most impactful piece of math and logic that leads you to know your group is built right and should grow is to look at the sources of your income. Look at those sources by generation. Let's first look at you. Regardless of how much product you are personally selling, the income you earn from sales pales in comparison to what you will earn in royalties from your entire group. That's why it doesn't matter how much you sell. It just matters that you sell. Let's look at your first generation. Four sales leaders selling, let's say, $200 a month each equals $800 total times about a 10% commission. Your first generation leaders earning you $80 a month. Your second generation of 16 sales leaders times $200 each earns you $320. And your third level of 64 sales leaders earns you $1,280 and so on. Of the 320 sales leaders in your group, which generation earns you the bulk of your income? Correct, your fourth generation. The 256 sales leaders doing $200 a month each producing $51,200 in sales and earning you $5,120 of your $6,800 a month total or 75% of the total. Now look closely at the diagram. How many sales leaders do each of the 256 sales leaders at your fourth generation have? How many are shown in the diagram? If you astutely said none, zero, zip, and zippo, you are correct. The diagram shows that none of them have yet to sponsor any sales leaders. If they had, there would be a fifth generation shown. And although it may take years for your fifth generation to fill in, when it does, how many sales leaders could you have in your fifth generation if and when they each get their four? Right? 1,024 for a total team of 1,364 people. You can do the math and figure out what happens to your income as your fifth generation fills in. Remember, these 256 with no sales leaders of their own yet belong to the 64 on your third generation. These 256 are their best of the best. These 256 will spend most of their empire building energies on finding their own four. And as they do, you have a runaway train of geometric progressions building your empire even bigger. The point is that in order for your income to qualify as residual, it only needs to stay stable or flat. The question of whether or not it will be residual is not even the appropriate question. The real question is, how fast will it grow and how big can it get? What is a rock-solid residual income? Not one that grows 50 to 100% a year, but rather one that is totally flat. What is it worth as an asset on your personal net worth statement? This part is easy. Let's say you're earning $5,000 a month in pure residual royalties, and it's $5,000 you know you can count on to continue. Ask yourself or consult an expert and ask them, how much real estate equity, not total real estate value, but the part of your real estate that is fully paid for, your equity, how much do you need in order to earn you $5,000 a month in rental income after real estate taxes, maintenance, and management? The answer is about a million dollars worth. To earn $10,000 a month, you'd need over $2 million worth. Or you could ask, how much money do you need to invest in equities, stocks, bonds, or cash to earn $5,000 a month in interest? Again, the answer is about a million dollars. Your $5,000 a month in residual income is worth a million dollars or more, and you didn't have to invest or risk hundreds of thousands for decades in order to build it nor did you have to go without for decades as you saved every extra nickel so you could invest in these other vehicles. And the trifecta, the hat trick, the grand slam of all of this is that when you are building your empire 
on a part-time basis, as you are building it, you can have the extra cash to invest in these other vehicles. Imagine what you could build in wealth if you invested $2,000 a month in real estate and $2,000 in equities over a 10-year period. There's a million dollars right there. Wealth building through network marketing is not easy. If it were, everyone would do it. But it's a lot easier and far less risky than real estate or the stock market. You can do this. People you know can do this. Your family can do this. Anyone can do this. But are you ready? Is now a time in your life when you either want something more or need something more bad enough to do something courageous about it. Four years from now is coming, whether you're wealthy or not. Get with the person that referred you to this presentation and see how their program can work for you.